people today in Gurugram could not even enjoy the rains because this uh, the, the rain that happened two hours of uh, in fact heavy rainfall and it rained misery mayhem and of course mismanagement on the part of the municipal authorities in Gurugram the Millennium City ladies and gentlemen as it is called home to some of the biggest companies across India close to the uh, national capital of course close to the airport and this is the infrastructure in one of the cities which has a few roads the golf link road specifically that I'm talking about where few months back people sold houses of hundreds of crores which is completely out of reach of more than 99.99% people living in this country and this is the infrastructure that they get right outside those fancy buildings and offices. Heavy rainfall in Gurugram and uh, the early water logging completely causing this, in fact, the roads to submerge. It's a curse, many people call it, every year that they have to face. Roads were choked, water logging and Millennium City was completely on its knees. Residents bear the brunt as the rain, in fact, uh, reveals the un urban infrastructure's ugly truth uh, where people, look at this, Paying highest number of taxes, people, those who are possibly hoping for a better future, buying these expensive houses in Gurugram and outside their balconies, this is what they get. Not roads, but canals. You can in fact put a canoe on these roads and you can, you know, use that instead of your cars. Now, uh, there has been a lot of hue and cry about it, ladies and gentlemen, and a lot of you must have faced it today. We are reporting on this and we are hoping to make as much noise as we can so that at least it unclogs the deaf, the, the ears of the authorities, which have completely fallen deaf to the yearly misery that people, in fact, in Gurugram and in cities like this face every year. Uh, in, you can call us, the number is on your screens, 8377-08-8377 and let us know uh, what you feel about this and what possibly uh, would you expect the authorities to do. Uh, we are in fact uh, going across to our first caller at this moment. We'll also be joined by Professor uh, Dr. P.S.N. Rao, Professor of Urban Planning. Uh, uh, SPA Delhi, Nidhi Malotra, resident of Gurugram is also joining us. But before that, we have a caller, Mr. Sanjay is calling us at this moment. Uh, he's uh, calling us from the national capital. Sanjay, a lot of people, thank you, first of all, for uh, taking the time out and calling in uh, at this moment. Uh, for a lot of people, those who live in Delhi, they either work in Gurgaon or they live in Gurgaon, they work in Delhi. Today was a nightmare, isn't it? Well, uh, the only difference of opinion that I have... Hello? Go ahead, sir. Well, the only difference of opinion that I have with you is, it is, it is not a nightmare of today. It is a nightmare every day. The misery looks very, very simple uh, that uh, all of us go through. And, but the actual reasons as well as the solutions to me are not very complex. The reasons are the greed of the government as well as the big corporations. They do these mindless constructions, roads, buildings, tunnels, etc. without any heed to the human safety we see all over the country. And uh, so the solutions to me, now the only hope is judiciary. If they can come in and if they can find some solution to it by putting stop to all this, otherwise these nightmares are, are soon going to be daymares also. Absolutely. I mean, it is uh, an early affair every time it rains. And this is the story that we are reporting every time, hoping that next year would be better. Not, uh, in fact, uh, uh, the dream. It only remains a dream. Thank you so much, Sanjay, for uh, calling in. Uh, Professor Rao, uh, let me start with you, sir. Uh, you know, Millennium City, people are buying houses there for hundreds of crores uh, on the coveted Gulf Road. Golf Link Road and the Golf Link Road today was, uh, uh, you know, swimming pool, a canal uh, and, and instead of a car, you could have possibly used your canoe, sir. Uh, a lot of people are asking, is this what urban planning means? Is this how these uh, cities are to be planned? Where are we lacking? Uh, actually, uh, it's not uh, uh, as much urban planning as it is uh, the management of what has been built or what has not been built. 
uh, you must first understand uh, what is urban planning, particularly in the context of Gurgaon. Gurgaon is not an integrated planned city, unlike Noida or Greater Noida or the Yamuna Expressway Development Authority. Uh, in, in the other cases, uh, the land is first acquired, everything is planned, the infrastructure is laid out, and only then the buildings come up. In Gurgaon, it's the other way around. Only small parcels of land in Gurgaon, the Huda sectors, have been acquired and that land has been planned and the sectors have been developed, the infrastructure has been laid out and people have built houses on that. Uh, the problem there is that uh, many of the houses, you've got these builder flows now. So one plot where one family of five is supposed to live is now uh, taking about uh, uh, four uh, uh, families. So there are 20 people. Uh, that that's one problem. The the other part of Gurgaon is where the developers have been given license to acquire to to purchase land by negotiation from the farmers directly, and these are in all shapes and sizes. So you have as many as about two hundred to three hundred developers operating in various parts of uh, Gurgaon, and it is all bits and pieces which needs to be stitched together with some kind of an infrastructure where the water flows smoothly. That is not happening at all. So it's a very peculiar model of public-private partnership of planning and development in Gurga, which has, as you can see, uh, not been very successful. Mm. There is a concept here called the external development charges. Okay. The, the real estate developers, when they develop their four acres or five acres or ten acres of uh, land, they put the infrastructure within the colony, right. but they are supposed to plug and play with the city. So they are supposed to plug in to the city infrastructure. Hmm. So where do you get the money from the city infrastructure? The government of Haryana does not pay for it. You have to pay for it by way of what is called an external development charge. These charges have been paid by the developers. In many cases, they have not been paid by the developers. Nevertheless, the external development infrastructure is what you can see on the screen. There are no drains on most of the roads. Right. There are no roads. Uh, or there are no roads in most of the places. And uh, in fact, in in front of some of the hospitals, you will find that there are there is no drainage system at all. Absolutely. Uh, there there is no sewage system. Before, Sometimes before you I, don't before have Before I water. start a discussion on the solutions, is is anything possible and what can be done? There are another caller, uh, a resident of uh, sector 91 Gurugram, uh, Mr. Puri is calling us at this moment. So thank you for uh, calling in. Uh, how was your experience today, sir? We have been seeing these nightmare of pictures and reporting it through the day. Uh, I am not talking of a nightmare. I am calling, uh, there is a pit in sector 91 which has been done by DLF, mm -hmm. which is 100 feet by 40 feet deep feet. There are landslides and there are houses ready to fall at any moment. We have complained to the police, there is no action. People are really wanting people to die before they basically take any action. That is the state of Sector 91 Gurgaon. And neither the police nor the person who is negligent or the authority which has dug such a big pit. The landslide had caused four houses and there are cracks and they are ready to fall into that pit. Hmm. And the police of 93 sector has not taken any action since the last four days. We are not talking of today because of the earlier rain this has happened. Right. Now they are wanting the buildings to fall into the pit and then they say we are going to make an inquiry. That is what is the state of Aryan. That's a extremely sorry state and I'm uh, very, very sorry to hear that Mr. Puri, the kind of situation in sector 91 uh, particularly uh, that people are facing there. We are hoping that authorities uh, pay some heed to it before it, it turns into a tragedy. And then, of course, the usual compensation inquiry and so and so forth cycle will start. Uh, we also uh, have, uh, in fact, Afzal, who is calling us from Gurugram. Afzal, go ahead. A uh, lot of people have been complaining about, uh, uh, you know, com absolute nightmare uh, commuting today in Gurugram after these rains. Hi, good evening, everyone. Uh, just, just we saw the pictures that we are coming up to the, uh, uh, today, and we can see that the uh, main NH 91, the Delhi Jaipur Highway, when we cross from uh, Rajiv Chowk to the Dwarka Expressway, is this section has took around three to four, three and a half hours just shutting to the water logging, only water logging, only because of that on the main NH way, NH we are having facing a huge water logging. It's already there. 
means it's not that in a rain season that comes regularly the rain uh, sorry jaggi i am not able to hear you sir please go ahead please go ahead complete your point so actually the uh, it's not only the single day that we are facing such kind of issues if the rain comes it's completely halt while uh, apart from the rain itself in the on the national highway there is a lot of regular basis so that need to be focused whatever the things are there uh, even though the hospitals or ambulance or the today itself we were stuck around two and a half hours in the traffic that we are facing right now from raji chowk to dwarka expressway okay just the whole water logging and we are just passing out right and nobody is there to help us out if something happens it happens happens afzal i'm really sorry to hear the situation that you're going through at this moment and uh, uh, you know at this uh, time of course it must be a nightmare for people stuck still because of the uh, water logging nidhi malhotra is a resident of uh, gurugram uh, she's also with us nidhi uh, like you were hearing a few of your fellow citizens from your city and uh, dr rao as well it seems that uh, you know the infrastructure is not in place in gurugram the millennium city made these buildings first and is now thinking about where to in fact make these drains and sewers and other things yes uh, when i shifted over here i came from delhi and i had this idea and i, I had this uh, impression that this is millennium city i've heard a lot about this but <laughs> uh, it's worse than delhi i can say and there is no planning it's a uh, i i think planning is really missing in this city otherwise the city is really nice very good the people are very good that uh, life is very good but still we are lacking uh, basic amenities we are lacking basic facilities we are facing these kind of issues which are really uh, very bad when we are paying so much to staying in this city so this is really a bad and worse truth i can say <laughs> before i go back to dr rao nidhi you know uh, like uh, we heard a few months back uh, that you know somebody bought on the golf link coveted golf link road house uh, which was more than 100 crore rupees isn't that a big joke on all of us as citizens i mean you buy property on such high prices uh, uh, you pay so much uh, taxes and you don't even get the basic infrastructure uh, you know in place out of your fancy 100 crore condo Nidhi, okay, Doctor Rao, uh, if I may bring you in, sir. Like I said, the joke is on the citizens; those who are uh, running to buy these uh, houses on such exuberant cost. There, uh, I, I wonder, despite all these pictures, why uh, the market in Gurgaon is swelling up. I mean, people do also uh, need basic infrastructure when they buy these houses. Uh, what is the solution sir is there a way that things can be corrected or we have passed that deadline where like you said a house built for five people today is housing 20 and then of course the other problems like you explained eloquently uh see of course everything is possible if there is a will there is a way all you need to do is to put the drainage infrastructure in place there is just no drainage infrastructure in the whole of gurgaon i myself i am a resident of gurgaon and i know this place very well except for a few roads most of the sectors of gurgaon do not have underground drains so there is a clear and serious problem number 1 number 2 even where the drains are there they are clogged the entry uh, point from the road to the drain is invariably choked because gurgaon is perennially under construction it will continue to be so for the next another maybe 10 15 years there is so much of construction happening so there is always all kinds of debris and these drains are always choked the civic authorities i will name the gmda and the uh, municipal corporation right. they are uh, i think closing their eyes to this uh, very very serious problem it's all about cosmetics in gurgaon hmm. uh, and co cosmetics will not take you long uh, you need to have the hardcore infrastructure in place without Absolutely. that i mean the city will not last long right sir stay on with me i i want to you know uh, speak to you further about uh, what immediately can be done of course short term and long term planning uh, that needs to be now put in place for gurugram uh, prima khanna is joining us uh, from the national capital ma'am please go ahead uh i'm speaking from b8 greater kailash part 1 go ahead and for the last so many years maybe at least 10 15 years every year the it's like a river outside the house and cars get stranded there 
and um, the water comes inside the house as well. Uh, almost every year we have complained, we you know, try and talk to the local MLA. So one person blames the other and the other one blames the other and nothing is ever done. Mm. This last rain on the 28th of June, uh, there was three feet of water inside my entire house. So was in B6, so was in B10, so was in Helvetia. They lost crores worth of machines. Uh, we had so much damage in the house and we are senior citizens, two right. of us living here. Right. And we just don't know who will help us. That's a Three sorry state water, of affairs. Every sofa, every piece of furniture in the house was damaged. You're right, ma'am. It's a sorry state of affairs, not just in Gurugram, in the national capital as well. And we have seen how yeah. authorities keep uh, passing the buck to each other. Desilting it has to be done. It, it doesn't get done uh, before the rain start. And the citizens then have to pay the price uh, as far as this apathy is concerned. We are hoping, ma'am that we keep talking about these issues so that uh, we can shame the authorities at least uh, to get into action. Uh, thank you for uh, speaking to us. Gaurav is also calling us from Gurugram. Gaurav, go ahead. Hi, thank you. Thank you for having me on NETV. Thank you so much. My question is, why bureaucrat and anybody from that legacy is not on the TV? Why every, every small employee who is facing on the ground, is being blamed. Mm. You're right. Where are the top bureaucrats? Where are the other people who actually are accountable for this situation year and year on, year and year on? You're absolutely right. I mean, people, accountability has to be fixed. It can't be the last person, the contractor, uh, but also about the people, those who are planning it, people, those who are supposed to, in fact, ensure and enforce uh, uh, all the, uh, you know, rules and the regulations uh, is for the citizens. I mean, as sir, citizens. One, one, one last submission I would go like ahead, to sir, say. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. I find every policeman helping everyone. I find every small government worker helping everyone. Hmm. What best can they do? They can offer their physical presence there. Right. But where are the tools? Where are the techniques? Where are the bureaucrats? Absolutely. You're right, sir. I mean, this, uh, this is an alarming situation. And, uh, uh, you know, people, uh, there, there are bureaucrats, there are ministers, people in the government, those who have to be held accountable. As uh, honest tax-paying citizens, that's the least that the people of Gurugram, the people of this country can expect that the tax that they are giving at least is utilized to provide them the basic infrastructure, uh, the amount of taxation in this country. That's, uh, let's not even go into that. That's not even funny. And despite that, this is the kind of uh, infrastructure that people of this uh, country are, uh, in fact, given. Uh, let me bring in Dr. Rao uh, one more time. All right. Before I do that, Vinod is also calling us. Mr. Vinod Arora from Gurugram, sir. Go ahead. Sir, I shifted from Delhi to Gurugram, but I find infrastructure is poor and there is nobody who is looking at doing something on the infrastructure, whether street light, whether roads, nothing. If somebody starts any ex construction work, it seems to be endless job. Hmm. Right, you're I right. Think there is no administration. There is no administration here. Nobody is there to keep a check on what is happening. In fact, the infrastructure that has been created seems to be crumbling in Gurugram. And now there is a constant comparison between, uh, like Dr. Rao was saying, Noida has still been planned. Gurugram, uh, you know, buildings came first, and then now we are uh, scamping through trying to get the basic infrastructure in place. Uh, uh, all right, uh, let's, uh, Dr. Rao, uh, if I may bring you in once again, sir. What are the, you know, if, if let's say the, the, the city planner or the municipal commissioner or the chief minister of Haryana is listening to you right now, what are the three immediate things that can be done at this moment, short term and long term? Yeah, I hope they're listening. Uh, see, uh, squarely, it is the authorities concerned, the civic authorities, whether it is GMDA or the municipal corporation, they are uh, responsible for all of this, whatever is happening. And whatever is happening is because most of the city does not have a drainage system. So you need to put a drainage system in place. So you, you need to bring in the uh, drainage engineers. You have to have a drainage plan for the entire city. Uh, and uh, on every road, below every road, you need to have the drains. And uh, many sectors, there are no stormwater drains at all. So uh, you, need to, you need to do that uh, planning. 
and you need to start implementing the plans. You need to actually construct. You, you have to put the infrastructure in place. Just making the plans uh, are not going to help. I will, of course, suggest that you need to put a, a committee immediately in place, identify all the hotspots where the water locking happens, uh, ensure that there are pumps kept there so that at least immediate relief is provided. You pump out the water and uh, so, so that people are not stuck up. Uh, you need to have a disaster um, uh, rescue team in place. Uh, that is for the next couple of years. But then unless and until you put a proper drainage plan in place, implement that drainage plan, construct all the drains, and also regularly ensure that these drains are cleaned. There are equipment which are available, which can uh, suck out the debris inside these, right. and ensure in the pre-monsoon, that, that you do this cleaning every year it rains, you know when it rains every year. So yeah. in the pre-monsoon period, you need to ensure that uh, uh, from the road, the water needs to go into the drain. Dr. So Rao, may, I, may I ask you one thing, sir? Like you were also saying, Gurgaon perpetually is under construction. There is some uh, project going on on the road All somewhere the or the other. Uh, this whole plan that you are hoping that will be implemented, the construction of drains, is it that tedious? How much time does it take? I mean, it seems that the authorities, I'm sure they also understand that you need to build these drains and you need to maintain these drains. Why is it not happening? Does it take too much money, too much uh, time as well? I, I, I don't think so. I think there is enough money. It's the question of utilizing the money hmm. and it is a question of political will. Somebody said just now, there is absolutely no administration. I think that is what it is. There is no governance. Where are the uh, elected representatives? What are they doing? Where are the bureaucrats and what are they doing? So, so I think they need to answer these questions. Where is all the money going? I mean, what is the budget of the uh, urban development department of the government of Haryana? And how much is allocated Koi, to Gurugram? Gurugram is, 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 the, is the tax haven. I mean, is, is, the, is, the, is the place which is providing the maximum revenue to the state of Haryana. So therefore, a greater share of the uh, budget for urban uh, development needs to come back to Haryana. Where is all the money going? Where is the external infrastructure charges? Where have they gone? I mean, who is also, asking these questions and who is replying th to these questions? You're right, sir. I think the, the public representatives are right now busy preparing for the upcoming elections. We are hoping that this, hmm. is an issue, uh, this is an issue that people vote for. Because these are the issues, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to vote and make your public representative accountable for. Otherwise, year after year, representative after representative, this is what we are uh, going to get. Sir, all right, uh, there is another caller, Chinmay is calling us, Chinmay from uh, Noida. Chinmay, at this moment, we were doing a comparison between Noida and Gurugram. Noida does come out better in terms of the civic infrastructure, but overall, it's not a relief, isn't it? I mean, all of us face these problems, and if you are working in the NCR region, it is a spiral effect of traffic and other things that all of us face. Chinmay? Yes, you... absolutely. Go ahead. Yeah, go can ahead. you hear me? Yeah, I can. Go ahead. Okay, great. You know, I think this is the timing of this program is perfect, and I hope the authorities are listening. And I was listening to Professor Rao as well. I think uh, the question of planning he brought about very nicely. Uh, while Noida stands up and is ahead of Gurgaon in terms of urban planning, but I think it's also something that I want to flag that there is a lot of rampant development that is not being planned even in Noida and certain sectors which are considered premium sectors. So if you look at some very basic principles like uh, how many hospitals and malls can come up or schools can come up within, let's say, 100 to 200 meter radius. And, uh, you know, place where I stay in Sector 50 in Noida, there are two malls, three malls actually, within less than 500 square, kilometers, square meters. There are uh, There is a big hospital uh, coming right next door. There is a metro station right in front of that hospital, and there is a mall right in front of that hospital. And uh, in, within the span of six months, I've seen this whole place turn into a nightmare from a right. traffic perspective, from water logging perspective. It wasn't there till about three years ago. But for the last six months right. to a year, it has just become a nightmare. So I think it's also important that, you know, people think about this very aggressively. Uh, somebody okay. said, you know, senior bureaucrats should be held accountable. Absolutely. Uh, time to watch out for what will probably happen to Noida. I can foresee that maybe maybe there is going to be an exodus of people who will start leaving Noida just because it's heading the same way as Gurugram. Learn, so the, lessons. Like Learn the lessons from the cities around you. If Gurugram is facing it today, Noida will be tomorrow if you don't plan ahead, if you don't, in fact, stop this rampant construction as... Uh, in the beginning, Dr. Rao said greed is the problem, ladies and gentlemen, more than anything else, and the political will to sort these issues out. Dr. Rao, thank you so much, sir. Always a pleasure to have you and share thank your you. expertise on the program. Thank you to all our callers. 
all the people with suggestions, with their problems. We are hoping that it does make a difference here on NDTV. Your voice matters the most and we'll keep raising these issues. Thank you so much for being with us. Slipping into a short break.